it's time for Daria the Musical, and I'm a-getting the urge to hoof. Jane, you know we can't dance. That would require animation. God, they're so cheap here, it's a wonder they're letting us move our lips. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> Oh boy, here they come. Here they come. Oh. Oh. Smartest, friendliest, most amazing neighbor on the planet. <laughs> and you brought your owner with you. I haven't seen you around the past few mornings. Take a little weekend away. Ben, we have three kids. Ah, yes, kids. How many do you have again? Two daughters. And they are both G and G. Grown and gone. Oh. So, what'd you do over the weekend? What I wanted to do was relax and watch the golf tournament. What a finish! Did you see Tiger's putt on the 18th? Not exactly. Well, what about his chip in on 14? Not exactly. Pretty on two? Uh-uh. Did you see a golf club anywhere? Uh-oh. Looks like someone did something stupid. Exactly. What the heck happened? Oh, it, it, it really is. It's, 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 it's kind of silly. Oh, come on. How'd you do it? Actually, it started Friday morning. Just another day at the Bindlebeep house. Roy, do you have your soccer stuff? You have a game after school. Got it, Mom. And Kayla's mom is taking you to school today. I'll pick you up after. Got it, Mom. <coughs> and you are going back up to bed. Got it, Mom. What? I heard you coughing during the night, and you're warm. Go on, upstairs with you. Mom, I just have to go to school today. Look, honey, if you have a test, I'll talk to your teacher for you. I don't have a test. What, a presentation? No. A boy? <laughs> Stay out of this. Look, Angie, you are staying home today. Now go up to bed and get your pajamas on. You look horrible. That never stopped her from going to school before. Did you hear the good news? The Boston School Board approved our pay raise. Arthur, the Red Sox won the World Series. Only one miracle per year. The seminar we were supposed to attend during sixth period was canceled. The one on time management? Yeah! The guy conducting scheduled another school at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Great time management. So we have a free period. Sweet! Hey, since we have an hour to kill, how about we have lunch at Ed's Sports Grill and watch the golf tournament from Palm Springs? It's got satellite. Excellent idea, my treat. Your treat? Whoa! What I said about miracles? I'll take it back. Son, what are you doing out of class? The nurse is sending me home. It's Angie's revenge. Now I'm going to miss my soccer game. All right, Roy. Come on. I'll take you home. I guess you'll have to have lunch without me. I feel terrible. So do I, Roy. So do I. One hundred and one. That's my boy. Never less than a hundred on anything. Arturo, I'm trying to connect the dots here, but what does this have to do with your wrist? Actually, Ben, nothing. But Arthur, if I wanted to hear a long story about nothing, I'd stay home with the missus. Hold on, there's more. Look, with both of them home, could you pick up Catherine and Kayla after school? No problem. Remember, there's a new system. To drop off, you enter the east driveway and go west. Now, for pickup, you enter the west driveway and go east. Got it? Norma, I can handle it. The last time you said that was when you put up the kitchen shutters. I can handle it became... <laughs> Where's the yellow pages? Norma, I was a boy scout. I think I know east from west. Oh? <laughs> Hey! Hi, girls. 
stop in. No, Daddy, we can't. Why not? Hey, you! Get to the back of the line. It's west to east. It's west to east. Quick, get in. how you hurt your wrist, defending yourself from a pack of surly school moms. Not exactly Indiana Jones stuff, but okay. Ben, hold on, there's more. Oh, I was afraid of that. Mommy, guess what? Daddy got busted by the safety patrol. Oh, really? He's trying to pick up in the drop-off lane. If he does that again, he has to go to the happy driver camp. So, did they change east from west since you were a Boy Scout? I'll take this up to Roy. Uh, would you mind checking on Angie? Sure. To find her room, you go up the stairs and head east, not west. How are you feeling, Ange? I'm <laughs> fine. Is there anything you need? No, thanks. All right, then. I'll go check on Roy. Actually, there is one thing. Could you get me the latest issue of Girlfriend? Of what? Girlfriend. The magazine I like. Okay, is it downstairs? No. <laughs> it's at the magazine stand on Fifth and State. Sure, no problem. And make sure you don't get the old one with little tad on the cover. Come on, you think I'd do something like that? Get the new one with little tad on the cover, okay? Got it. Thank you, Daddy. You're the best dad in the whole wide world. Okay, what else do you want? Would you make me some chicken vegetable soup before you go? Sure. And daddy? Yes, Angie. Could you pick out the little pieces of carrot? Sure. And the celery? Angie, uh, why don't you just have the plain chicken soup without the vegetables? Vegetables are good for you. This is a business, not a reading room, you know? Oh, right. Excuse me, is this the new issue of Girlfriend? No, that's last month's. This is the new one. My mistake. Oh, those girls hardly wearing anything at all. What, 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 what is that? It's a thong. I have one just like it. Well, how old are you? Fourteen. Why aren't you in school? Who put you in charge? I don't need this. What uh, are you doing? Sorry, sold out. Yo, man! So you threw the magazines in one of those big trash bins, and the lid slammed down on your hand. Don't you know that? I put two and two together. The magazines, the cast on your wrist. Oh, oh, no, the lid didn't fall on this hand. It fell on the other one. It hurt a little bit, but I shook it off. Then I went home. Here you go. Thanks, Daddy. You know, I bought this magazine against my better judgment. What's wrong with it? Other than all the young ladies in there looking like they should be standing on street corners. Oh, Daddy. Daddy! Enjoy! Angie was mad. I think she wanted to strangle me. Ha! <laughs> Do I know that feeling? So, the next day is Saturday, and Roy and Angie are upstairs sleeping, and I'm finally gonna sit down and watch a little golf. Tiger's in the lead. Uh, uh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I think that squirrel or rat or whatever has been gnawing on the cable again. You should call the cable company. Uh, yeah, later, Norma. I just want to watch a little of the tournament, okay? Okay, whatever. I'm taking Catherine to Carolyn's birthday party. Uh, can you handle the sick ward while I'm gone? Is it starve a cold and feed a fever or the other way around? I never can keep that straight. <coughs> I just put the food in and I hope I don't have to see it again. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> oh, no. Okay, let's get you into bed. Move. So, you took your little one to a party where they had a pinata, and one of the kids smacked you with a baseball bat. Oh, no, 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 the party wasn't at anyone's house. It was at a deep, dark place where nightmares are born. <laughs> You've had your pizza and cake. 
Who wants to play games in Dandy Andy Bandit's game? <laughs> hey, And who wants mommy or daddy to, to buy tons and tons of panda tokens so you can have tons and tons of fun? Okay, honey, now make these last. Thank you, Daddy. Can you believe how they pressure us to buy tokens? And for what? To keep our kids occupied so we can sit around and chat? How about another roll? Two, please. I don't think we've met before. I'm Kendra's mom. And I'm Ashley's mom. Hi, I'm Donna's mom. Arthur Bindlebeep. <laughs> Catherine's mom? Oh, Catherine's dad. Oh, nice to meet you. Did you guys hear what happened to Pickup yesterday? Some idiot came in the drop-off driveway to pick up. Who? A man driving a minivan. A minivan? It's what people drove before they invented SUVs. I mean, what kind of moron would do something like that? Hey, did anybody get a look at who it was? Were you there? No, but I heard it was a really short guy. And, and heavy, but a really snappy dresser. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, finally. So, how's Tiger doing? Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. That's all you ever hear about. Aren't you sick of hearing about Tiger? You know what I mean? Well? Like he's the greatest golfer who ever walked the planet. Is that what you think? You know what I mean? Actually... Arnold Palmer. Now, there was a golfer, you know what I mean? Charter member of the World Golf Hall of Fame, athlete of the decade in the 60s. The man even has his own drink named after him. Does Tiger Woods have a drink, I ask you? You know what I mean? Well, does he? Oh, sure. I mean, maybe Arnie didn't rack up all those big-time endorsement deals like some people, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that man played for the sport. He played for the love of the game. You know what I mean? So... That's how you hurt your wrist? You punched a guy? I am not a violent man. Neither am I. But if this story goes on much longer, that could change. Okay, I didn't hit the man, but I did get even. And the numbskull had the audacity to get out of this car. And the crossing guard was right there. Hello? I wish somebody knew who it was. I didn't want to say anything, but... That guy knows everything. You know what I mean? Come on, sweetie. I put a lot of honey in it. It'll help your throat. <laughs> My throat is fine. <coughs> okay, gimme. Uh, what about the kids? Uh, I fixed Angie some eggs, sunny side up with no brown edges, and Roy some chicken noodle soup, extra noodles, and now Catherine and I are going to watch a little TV. Uh, sounds good. But she's had a busy day. Nothing that will rile her up. Not a problem. And Tiger Woods steps up to the final tee of this, the third round of the... Sumitomo Hyundai Armani Volvo Samsung Daimler Kia Swatch Toshiba Hagen dazs All American Golf Classic. Daddy, can we watch cartoons or something interesting? Sweetie, what could be more interesting than action packed, edge of your seat professional golf? <coughs> That's a piece of popcorn stuck in your throat, right? I didn't have any popcorn. <coughs> I was afraid of that. <coughs> Come on, honey, it can't taste that bad. It's, uh, guggolicious grape. What will it do? Well, the reason you feel sick is because of some germs in your body. They're bad, scary germs who want to take over everything. Like pirates? Pirates, yes. So, your body sends out a sheriff and her posse of white blood cells to round them all up. You mean like the Old West? Exactly. So, the sheriff... Why are there pirates in the Old West? Because their ship hit California and threw them all the way to Texas. But sometimes the white blood cells just get outnumbered. And that's when Sheriff Penny comes riding to the rescue. Penny? That's right. Penny Sillin and her two deputies, Ampy Sillin and Moxie Sillin. And then the good Sillins charge. Those bad old pipe germs, well, they just don't know what hit them. That's when the head of the FBI steps in. The, the full body immune system. The germs are booked and fingerprinted. And if they're ever seen again, they go directly to the Hooskow. 
Cusco. I like that. Everybody sends out a posse of white blood cells to round up those bad germs. I know, honey. I'm not five. I was just trying to help. Dad! Ah, duty calls. You called? Yeah, Dad. Listen, this game should be back today. You think you could get me another one? Well, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, what is this? When did you get a game like that? At the video store with Larry? Really? It would be my pleasure to get you something else. Kill him. Ding dong die. Frying me. Excuse me. Yo, man. Listen, do you maybe have a game that doesn't have kill or death in the title? Uh, nope. Well, what about that? Blow everything up. The sequel just came out. Blow everything else up that you missed the first time. Oh, it's a tough one, bro. I've only made it to the fourth level where you get an AK-47. Well, where are the games for the kids? Man, where have you been? These are for kids. Here you go. Thanks, Dad. Interactive Scrabble? You gotta be kidding. Nope, just like I'm not kidding when I tell you that the next time you go to that video store, I'm going with you. Ah, uh, Dad, that is bogus. Bogus? That's a good word, especially if you get triple letter on the B. Feeling better? A lot. How are you? I don't know. My body's too numb to send my brain messages. Oh, it's not easy taking care of a sick household all by yourself. You did a great job. Thanks. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm finally going to watch the golf tournament. Daddy. Yes, baby? The good guys won. Angie and Roy are feeling better, too. Good. Oh, did you ever call the cable people? When did I have time to do that? I'll get to it tomorrow. And now, with Tiger Woods leading by only one stroke, it's come down to this, the final par five. Tiger's approach shot is a difficult one, and he gauges the wind. I just want to watch some golf. It's dark. Come down from there. Okay, you little monster. You can run, but you can't hide. You can hurt yourself up there. Norma, relax. I can handle it. Don't say that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. So that's how I hurt my wrist. Thank God. I thought I was going to have to put on my burial suit. Oh, you'll live another hundred years. After that story, I feel like I already have. Well, Guinness, what do you say we go home? With everybody healthy again, everything should be nice and peaceful and no more whining. <coughs> The best, Norma. <coughs> With this cast on my wrist, it's hard for me to feed myself. Yes, Arthur, you told me. You think I'm acting like a big baby, don't you? Baby? No. A baby would sleep three hours so I could take a break. Uh, how are you feeling, Daddy? <coughs> I'm good. Well, I hope so. This has been going on for two days now. Yeah, I guess I got a real bad case. Well, here's the newspaper for you. Do you think you can put my glasses on for me? You know, see with the... I know, Daddy. With your hand in the cast, it's hard for you to do it yourself. Thank you, Angie. You're the best. I thought I was the best. I'm sick, honey. I can't remember everything I say. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute, Angie. Uh, do you think you can read to me for a while? I'm, I'm not sure if I have the energy. Sure, no problem. 
Well, how about if we start with the sports page? That would be good. What happened? Oh, those were ads for something called gentlemen's clubs. But the way those girls were dressed, I don't think a gentleman like you would want to see them. So I cut them out. Oh, here's something that might interest you. In an absolutely stunning development, Tiger Woods announced that he will retire from golf immediately. What? Let me see that. Woo! That soup is incredible. I'm feeling better already. Thank you.